It's trying to get a hold of it. And now we can play a little bit. Get your hand out of there. Get your paw out of there. Play a little bit of tug here. All right, guys, good morning. We've got uh, Thunder here, and we're gonna play a little game with him that is involving retrieving and then incorporating tug. We've had a lot of questions on how to properly do this, and I wanna show you what it looks like, because it is important. Just playing a bunch of tug is eventually going to create some bad habits, and if we do just a few things that I'm gonna show you here with Thunder, if you're doing this with your puppy, you're gonna develop a good, strong, natural hold, as well as a dog that's going to naturally deliver, for the most part, to hand. So we're gonna start off with, hey, 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 you need to stay here and focus this way. Good, we've got a little bit of a corralled area and we'll see if I end up with some distractions. I mean, it's always part of a training session to try and set something up and then adapt to the problems that arise. But we're gonna try and play fetch with him and then incorporate that tug into this game. Hey, so we're getting excited to chase, which is building drive around the bumper and the object. He's trying to get a hold of it. And now we can play a little bit, get your hand out of there, get your paw out of there, play a little bit of tug here. I'm not trying to rip it out of his mouth, but then we'll hold him. Good. And then if we give it another little shake, it's going to stimulate him to grab a little bit more. And we can develop that hold. Now, when we want it, because he's a little itty bitty puppy, and we're developing this now, we can just open his mouth and take it out. And then we're gonna tease and toss. Good boy. Now, he was zooming. He is not, he is not retrieving at this point. All right, guys, he is excited to run and chase something down. And I have a setup here that is designed to be able to corral and catch him. So we can develop and build a behavior of retrieving. We're playing a little bit of tug. You can see he's getting into this a little bit more now. Good. And then we hold on to him. Good job. This is developing that natural hold. Tug on it just a little bit. Good. And then when we want it, again, we've developed a little bit of hold. You're going to want to stop this before he actually quits retrieving or quits holding or wants to give it up. And we're gonna go ahead and take it from him. Just open his mouth, take the bumper. Teasing again, and another toss. <laughs> again, he's trying to dart past me. Puppies aren't, uh, some puppies are better than others, but a lot of puppies are gonna wanna play this keep away game. And if you set yourself up for success and they know that they're trying to dart through and you're able to catch them, long arms, reach out and grab them, um, you're gonna be able to start to develop a really good straight out, straight back retrieving behavior because this is all he knows at this point. I run out and get it, and then I somehow end up back here. We're gonna work on this tug again. Good boy, good boy. This is a DT Systems bumper. They make um, small puppy-sized bumpers, which are perfect for this training. Uh, right now, Thunder is just the 10 weeks old, so it's the perfect size, the perfect age, and he hasn't started losing a bunch of his puppy teeth yet. You're gonna wanna watch that when you're working on retrieving with your puppies. When they start throwing a bunch of teeth, usually you're gonna need to take a break from retrieving work, because they're not gonna wanna hold and you can actually develop bad mouth habits. Good, all we're doing is some light tugs here and then helping him to understand that it's a good thing to hold on to it. Good. Once he's held it for a bit, we're going to take it from him. This again shows him when I want it, it's mine. We're gonna do one more retrieve with this little guy and then we're gonna call it a session. Again, I'm set up here to snag him. Good job, good job. A little tug again, good boy. I'm bringing him back to my left side, which is ultimately where I'm gonna want him as an adult. He's gonna swing around into heel to finish his retrieves. Good. So we're just developing these habits through reps, reps and reps and reps. Good. That little play tug helped to stimulate him to hold. 
if you see any mouthing or rolling or playing with his with the bumpers then that's when you can grab it and give it a little tug and get him to hold again good good boy good boy calm hands don't get all excited with him good it's an important thing to be able to show your puppy that this is a good way to get attention and affection too it's going to develop a calmer demeanor around you and you being with the puppy good good all right, and again, uh, 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 uh. we're going to go ahead and take it from him. Good. Now we're going to end this session with some more teas. We want to leave him super pumped, trying to get that bumper, trying to get that bumper, trying to get that bumper, ah, and then the bumper just disappears. Now, that's going to leave him wanting more. That's going to leave him ready for our next retrieving session, and... Uh, which is ultimately gonna build a dog that doesn't understand how to quit when it comes to retrieving games. If you play this game until your puppy says, nah, I'm done, and then that's when you call it quits, you'll end up with a puppy that understands that he can kind of control the game as well as they get bored with it. Anything that you have, all the access you need to, sometimes can be boring. Easy now. We're just gonna help him. He's looking like, where'd that bumper go? Where'd that bumper go? So it's a good thing for him to be excited. Um, we're going to keep on this with him. I'm going to be doing this maybe once, maybe twice a week um, with a specific retrieving object. That's what we're going to be using for retrieving. And as he continues to build drive like we're seeing now, we'll be able to move that to longer and longer sessions and um, ultimately be able to move that outside or into a bigger area. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Thunder, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.